Hey everybody, uh, state pageant's over. I'm so excited to have some downtime. So today I came down to the house in Crystal Springs that we're turning into a toy museum. So I thought I'd do something fun and show you um, some stuff we found. Uh, my nephew PJ, PJ and I went to an attic up in Vicksburg of this building and this lady um, told us if we cleaned out her attic for us she would let us have everything we found so I have a pile of stuff that I found in the attic that was just going to waste it was going to deteriorate over the years so I know some of you like my toys and stuff so I was going to show you some of the stuff um, we found in the attic that they were going to throw away so let me see if I can turn this around turn it around look at my house in Crystal Springs a disaster it's about to be a toy museum, so we are trying to, uh, look at that, Shoney's big boy. Gonna make it um, really cool, but it'll probably take me about a year. You see, I got everything in here. Oh, it's gonna be so cool one day. But anyway, uh, this is the stuff we found in the attic. Uh, I love junk, I love toys, and I love to save stuff. So, um, first thing we found was this um, giant blue carnival stuffed animal from probably the 70s in really good shape it was in a garbage bag she had wrapped it up just missing the nose so we're gonna put a new nose on it and save it i saw those on ebay somebody's trying to sell it for 40 bucks i found this little picture most of them were all molded and gross so i saved this one it's not too bad but I just like the graphic on it, it's really nice. So saved it from being destroyed. That attic was so gross. It had mold and mildew. We were wearing a cotton mask over our face. Uh, let's see what else. I'm sitting on the floor, by the way. I uh, found this old thermos. It's a thermos lunchbox with a thermos in it. It's not rusted out or anything. So decided to save that. I don't know that that's worth. I might sell that PJ and I are gonna start an eBay store so let's see found this little doll oh, got something in the bag I don't know who she is so if anybody knows who she is let me know she's got a little muffin on her dress and came with a tray of muffins and some kind of cupcake I think it's a hat that you tie on her head if anybody knows who she is, let me know. I'd like to know who she is. We found this thing um, in pieces, and I actually saved all the pieces not knowing what it was. This is a Cabbage Patch Kid pinup where I think she just Velcros in this little scene and they made different ones. So save that. I had to clean it up a little bit. See what else I found. The Care Bear Thermos. Not in the best of shape, but I saved it found a set of lock blocks from the 80s and the graphics are still good it was in a bag so save that Let's see what else Get some more carnival stuffed animals I just saved these because I remember these when I was a kid in the 70s and I never had one so I just saved them there were two of those That's another one uh -huh. and then this little baby if anybody knows who she is I have no idea but she was very old, so I saved her. And on um, the tag says Mattel. That looks like a really old tag, so um, don't know who she is. But then I just remember seeing these in the 70s. There's just some little pinwheel that can blow all them in the wind, whatever. Just save that. I just can't stand waste. I hate things being destroyed. Uh, hope nothing crawls out at me. Let's see what else I got. Uh, Fisher Price. Oh. oh, can't open it. It's a little, little lunch box. It's just a little plastic tote. Save that. Theodore from Alvin and the Chipmunks. Had to save him. Oh my God, I'm such a hoarder. I know I am. We won't show Ray this video. All right. Uh, when I was a kid, my mom worked at a mall. So uh, Piccadilly was the restaurant. And she, this lady saved the Piccadilly plastic bibs the baby put on so I just grabbed them uh, that's another one of those cabbage patch pinups but I never found her other little building let me pour this out Let's see what else we found I have not looked through this in a while we cleaned this attic out months ago before the state pageant when we had more time goodness 
Oh, Captain Crunch top. Uh, ice cream cone. These were in the pickup games when I was a kid. Let's see, some kind of cool watch. Let's see what it says. What does that say? Lord of mercy, I'm gonna have to get glasses. Yep. Hatchimal. It's pretty cool. Probably from the 80s. Let's see. Now this is kind of cool. It's a metal toy with a plastic rabbit. I don't know what that's worth or what it is, but that's pretty cool. Let's see. Uh, like a My Little Pony uh, seahorse. Let's see. I found one of these and PJ found one. I don't think they're valuable or anything, but we just saved them because they were cute. Little penguins dressed up. These were, um, goodness, I can't remember what they're called. I think Tiny Toons. Oh, Happy Little Toys. Let's see what else. Uh, this is a shell to, there it is, My Little Pony Seahorses. There's the little brush. I think I have some of those in one of my cool rooms. Yeah, that's that. Let's see what else. Another ice cream cone. A wind up metal toy mouse. Better than a real live mouse. Another Happy Meal toy. This little guy, I don't know who he is. So if anybody knows who he is, he's got a little plastic body. See if that'll focus. Nope. I don't know who he is, but he has a little velvet face. It's cute. What else? Mm, don't know who she is. I just saved it. I just hate this stuff like going to waste. Another these things were so popular in the 70s. They're very cheap with like sticker eyes, but um too cute. Love it. Look at that. Little Mickey Mouse looks like he was part of a little gym set. Crayon. This is potato head hands. Uh, I don't know what these went to. Some kind of little french fries. Uh, uh, other brush to that. Uh, this is cool. They had these necklaces in the 80s. This isn't a real great example of it, but kids used to buy charms to put on their necklaces. Pretty cool. Happy Meal toy. It's kind of Ronald McDonald. This, what does that say? Guess they went to Florida. That's their souvenir. A little pencil sharpener. Wind up dog. This is pretty cool. It's a bracelet with Mississippi symbols on it. That's probably from the 80s. Let's see. Let's see what's in this last bag. Anything but a wrap, please. All right. Plastic bank. Pretty cool. Don't know what this is, but I, I saved it. It was a U.S. mail car with this little cute little bunny. That's the postman. Save that. So I'm kind of a little picnic table with these little rabbits. You know the cool stuff about this stuff is like I don't know what it all is, but it could be some collector out there. That is the one piece to finish their set. So that looks like it goes with that. Same kind of family. Uh, got a flounder from Little Mermaid and it still has the old applause tag on it, which is pretty cool. Let's see what else. Ah, you know I love a Smurf. Any day of the week I'll save anything with Smurf. This is a, I'll have to wash that. Eek. A Smurf baby bib. A Smurf book. I had all these books as a kid. At, in elementary school we had book fairs where you could buy those books. Crayon. From the pickup games. Hmm, don't know what that is. Oh, it's a box. A little box, isn't it? There's Disney. Uh, I thought this was kind of cute. I remember these. Little bird. 
had to save that. Uh, one of those, not a Rubik's Cube, but one of those kind of puzzles like that. Save that. And some more of these little critters, but they have a weird bottom where they won't just stand up by themselves. So, save those. And then this little purse. It's too cute just to let them throw away. What else? Flounder, Santa Claus hat. Wind up elephant. And the last thing is one of those little Fisher Price school buses. And I saved one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine fish price little people. And this one is actually made of wood. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, that's everything I saved. If you have any old toys you don't well, you know who to give them to. Alright, I'll keep everybody updated because this is gonna be a year-long project cleaning out this house and turning it into a toy museum. But I'm really looking forward to it. I've got some really cool stuff. Ray thinks I'm a giant hoarder, which I know I am, but um it's just so full. Over there I've got Toys R Us stuff. I'm gonna make a Toys R Us display and I bought a Jeffrey the mascot character. <laughs> All right, that's everything. I'll see you later, bye.